Hey, in our continuing binge of various let's tries of various games, we're here for Concrete Jungle, a game that's been on my to-do list for like two or three years, I think. I got this code so long ago that I feel awful, but I have a backlog of like 250 games and holy shit. So we just did two Warhammer games. We're thinking of doing a few city games. City management games, city puzzle games, city something games. I don't know. Neither of us have played it before, so we're just nope. kind of going in blind. So, so let's do it. It'll be a surprise. Can't I'm playing Concrete Jungle. That, that looks beautiful. Can't paint it. That like that's a that's just nice looking. Looks like I what like I wish SimCity looked like. Yeah. Yeah. It probably. R.I.P. Maxis. Oh, I like dead that little now. guy's face. Her her. The greetings from Caribou City. My face is dented. There's a population of 500k Caribou City. I like that Pixies song. Hollyville. Tutorial type. Oh. <laughs> the basics of concrete jungle. You need a hundred for ten, three stars. Okay. Keith is using a controller, by the way. Yeah, I thought so I'd give it a try. If things seem a but little clunky, it's... I might give up on it. We'll so see. Why? Welcome to the small town of Hollyville. My name is Lainey, and I'm here to show you the ropes. Hi, Lainey. Okay, yeah, it makes more, way more sense when you actually get your, uh... When you're playing, because you, you're on a grid. Yeah. It's just the menu that's like, let's slowly scroll over there. Yeah, I figured as much. Looking around is pretty easy. You can use the right mouse or the keyboard's cursor, or W, A, S, and D keys. Oops. You can also zoom in and out using the mouse wheel or the R and F keys. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so probably in front of you there is a small grid upon which you can place buildings those buildings are determined by a series of cards let's draw some now and get started that Please. will do nicely oh oh it's a card game oh boy I think it is a card game actually uh -oh. yeah uh oh At the top here is the next card in your build list it's a school pretty useful on the card is a small three by three grid with a building icon in the middle this displays the building's effect on its adjacent tiles. Blue squares represent plus one point, so the school will give plus one points to the tiles immediately adjacent to it. With a card selected, you can now place it. Notice how the blue highlights represent the area effect as displayed on the card. Let's put the school here. Okay. No, we can put it over here. No, <laughs> not gonna back so much. Oh. <laughs> You'll notice there are now some plus score markers on the empty tiles that were affected by the school. I don't see them. That was a satisfying animation. And look at the little glowy cars. They are just in a perpetual loop of sadness. <laughs> this is forever. hell. It's like my own. It's like when I used to play SimCity. But like, or Sim, no, Sim Town. I used to play Sim, Sim Town. Town. And I town, I roads that went nowhere. <laughs> if we place point collecting buildings on those positive scoring tiles, we'll get points. Okay. So like the house? It just so happens the next card in your build list is a houses oh. card. By far the most common point collecting building. I was going to say, how do how you know it collects points? It literally says collects points under it. <laughs> what about text. brewery? Brewery has no downsides. Uh, we'll, probably learn what, we'll probably learn what that does when we get to it. Notice how it tells you on the card if the building collects points or not. Oh. So let's get some points. Let's get some points, okay. Andrew. I put it not in a one. We now have one point due to the combination of the school's area effect and the house. We have a target to reach for each column. Oh. Currently, that target is two. You can see your current target right here in the top right. Okay. In order to fulfill that target for each column, we need to use a combination of buildings that affect their surroundings and point collecting buildings. Next up, we have a car wash. This card also has some red squares, which means it will have a negative effect on those tiles. The disgruntled face. But crucially, it has positive effects in the places we need right now to bring our house up to two. Select and place the car wash so that our house is given another point. Okay. Okay. Here. We now have two points in the first column thanks to our house, school, and car wash. She sounds like also genuinely happy. Also notice how the red <laughs> negative area effect from the car wash cancelled out one of the points from the school. Oh no. Now the first column is complete. Look what happens. Huh. See and that? It's deleted the and they all die. <laughs> Oh, that means you bank the points from that column, which are then multiplied and added to your total score. Okay. Let's see here. Are you going to do WASD instead? Yeah, I was going to try it. There's like no reason to use controller. 
It also means you get a new empty column to build in here on the right. Uh. The immediate aim of the game is always to clear the first column, but you'll have to plan ahead with your building placements in order to do that for future columns. So it's like, it's like SimCity Tetris. Yeah. Those are the basics, but let me show you what happens if you forget to place a point collecting building in a column. Fill this column with the following non point collecting buildings. If any building area effects spill off the side of the grid, they will have no effect. You can use this to your advantage sometimes. Okay. The place a factory. Uh oh, I don't know how to place. Oh yeah, no. Click it. Click the card. Let's click the card first. Yeah. Oh, weird. It was, just, it was just auto doing it before. Okay. Now we have no right, because you can probably pick from your whole hand, huh? Up. This will likely happen to you sometimes, but just to be clear, it's something you want to try and avoid. And not just because we have a brewery and factory next to a school. God damn, With girl. <laughs> no means of collecting points, this column cannot reach its target. Therefore, it's just going to sit there while we fill up the rest of the empty land. We need to force clear it. Once the first column is filled, you'll notice this little button flashing at you. All we have to do is click it to force clear. But we're going to lose a heart. Yeah, we three hearts. Heart. Right. However, force clearing isn't free. It costs you one life. Oh my god, how many you lives do I have? How many lives you have left here? Make sure you use your lives sparingly. Once you run out, you'll fail the level. Oh, okay, good. Now see that if I you die. can complete past this column here using the next batch of buildings. When you die in concrete jungle, you die in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the negative effects still carry over? That sucks. Uh, yeah. So we're just trying to win now? Yeah. Basically? Yes. Just make it to that point. Yep, so put... That's a negative one and that's a plus one. Yeah, so just put a house. If that collects points. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't matter if I... Can I, add, can I add to the score of the point after I already placed it, I wonder? Oh, wait, you can't... You have to play them in this order yeah. or what. Okay. Yeah, another house for collecting points I don't have. <laughs> no, just put... Uh, yeah, I was gonna say put it there. School oh. time! That works too. Yeah. Oh, nice. That could also... Except get... the bad part. Oh no, you'll... Uh, well... I'm gonna go down here so I don't cover the entire next row yeah. with red. That's pleasant. Seems pleasant. I got another house. The shop upgrades that one house in value, but also fills up like this entire goddamn room. And that's problematic. Uh, okay, well you can get... I don't want to fill this entire... this row... this middle row too bad. I want to reduce the number of reds I think yeah. I have in it. That's a good idea. A brewery. a brewery does... Put it in the negative one spot. Yeah, it doesn't even score points, does no. it? No. Just takes away that this point. collects points. But go down? No, go yeah, down one? Just, I should put it here, because I can put a school here next. But yeah, but you can't get the one... How are you going to get the one for that uh, previous row? Previous row? I mean, how do I get this to two points? Yeah. Because I'm going to put a school here. Oh. That's going to increase its value in a moment. Ta-da! You... What you, damn. You... You, oh, damn. you dare doubt me. Is that gonna work? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, because that's a plus one. Don't see, give it so a negative one. The only house is the one down there, so I need to make this one a plus one. So I just need, well, that's already a plus one. I just need to put a house there at some point. Yeah. Uh, is that a four point already? Well, th that's the goal. Once you reach that last one, you win. Well, now it's five points. Okay. Badass. <laughs> Houses, and there you go, you win. Ta -da. Looks like you're ready for the next challenge. Oh boy. Oh, the town's exploding. <laughs> I think I like the idea of this game. It's pretty good. I, con conceptually, I like it. Immediately, I'm like, oh, this is a cool idea. It's City Tetris. Uh, uh oh. Um, thankfully, it's just like setting the mood. Yeah. Since you did such a good job at Hollyville, well, Apart from the whole school, factory, brewery debacle, which was kind of my fault. Glad you owned up to it. It was 100% your fault. <laughs> well, we're down alive still. Oh, what? Maybe, have to look. Maybe we can earn it. I've hired you to develop in the county of Luther Fields, a small commuter town south of the city. Sounds like you my home. to do just a few small differences this time. You now have two times as many build slots. You can now choose your next building from either of the cards in the white bracket area. Oh, sweet. Ooh. That's nice. 
Okay, so I have two build slots. I have more options. That thing does a link where it does plus one to an adjacent tile. So just put like oh, green and green. The excitement! Us government employees need to appreciate the little things. Uh, yeah, I guess because your pension's not good. I've also thrown some new buildings into the mix. We also have to get three per tile now. Uh, Although it is five long now instead of four. Yeah. This is gonna get really big, I think. Yeah. This is a green. Yes, the card is yellow. Get used to it. It's one of my favorite entry level cards. Don't you sassy it lets with you me? choose a tile around it to give plus one to. What? Super useful. So you choose it. What? Powerful. That's super nice. Super powerful. Super hot. So powerful. Super, super hot's hot. on the list. I already All beaten you have super to do with hot. Well, I haven't played it yet. Place it where you want as normal. Some blue icons will then appear to show you where you can apply the card's buff. Okay. Just select where you want to apply the buff. Easy. If you decide to cancel the placement after you have clicked, you can do so by clicking the X icon that appears over the chosen build position. Okay. If you ever get confused about what a card does, you can right click on any card at any time in the game to have a closer look and find out more about what it does. I appreciate that. You need to develop the land without running out of lives. This bar here shows you how close you are from completion. It will fill with blueness as you clear columns. One more thing. The column target <laughs> is now set at three. Nothing you can't handle, right? Got One it. more thing. One more I'm going thing. Back to City Hall. I've got so much paperwork to do with the coming election. Catch you later. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just, it's fact just put the factory somewhere else. Yeah, this factory is a, a sad time. Yeah. I can use up two of the tiles by putting one onto the park and one onto the off the map. That's true. Good times. It's probably for the best. This is like a it's And then like, use a brewery to get like, rid of a negative one. It's like Sim City Tetris Minesweeper. <laughs> 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 the brewery. That's Bre a combination of words. Does not do anything? No. You just fill up a tile. The unique flavor is from what when a bike fell in the vat. Oh, oh, they're going to come up later. Yeah. Economy points and expense. These huh. points are added to the yellow economy bar at the top right. Once it fills, you get to purchase a new card for your deck on character skill. Or, or character, or character skill. skill. In other words, these points are good. So that's the meta progression. Oh, shit. Is, yellow, is that. And orange is these points are added to the orange expenditure bar on the top right. Once it fills, the, your column target oh, increases. Oh, damn. Game harder. In other words, these points are bad. Oh, shit. Oh. That card is nothing Didn't good. Didn't know about that yet. Well, remember, you can now choose the house if you wanted to, too. What? Remember? You, you can yeah, choose. Yeah, I can place the house yeah. if I want to. Because you can choose which And then you can placing. choose another house and get rid of a line right now. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Good boy, sweet prince. <laughs> Good boy. This this thing's terrifying because it's like, hey, you want to make this turn easier and the next turn harder? <laughs> yeah. Well, you have a brewery, which is nice because you, you can get rid of a negative them, can one. Can you? No, it's just zooming. Yeah, you can get one. You can get rid of a negative space of the brewery. Yeah. Or functionally ignore it more or less. Yeah, but I meant for the row that you had three negatives in. Yeah. But I don't think you'd want to. Yeah, I think you'd not. You probably should do a brewery and then place a library. Yeah. Also, it doesn't count as a negative until I put a house on it. Yeah. Until then, it's just nothing. Let's see. God. So many negatives. I kind of just want to stash it up here somewhere. So it has to be No, you should probably, screen. honestly, you should probably put it down below. So that more of the reds that... Because now you'll have three plus, you'll have three ones. So yeah. when you get three houses, you can immediately get, yeah. Library. What a very specific... That's good. Sporadic That's good. Combo. Yeah. Where you had it originally? Yeah. Because this, yeah, this adds more more greens for the next row. Oh, but wait, can or we go down? one of them. Oh, what? Wait, no. Shit. I was going to think that might actually be better. But it's not, no. You're right. That's a good spot. Yeah. There's also a skull. Which I can place, like, here. For more positive points. That's two. The and house. There's, there's going to be a shop coming. Just put the brewery in that tile. Oh, that the negative, negative one? one? Yeah. yeah. Because... It makes sense. Yeah, get rid of it. God, getting three is not actually super easy. No, Park Square? Hot damn! Yeah, I need to get that. Let's see. Stops can get rid of a negative spot, which is nice. Oh, okay, that's... <laughs> oh, that's one way to steamroll the victory. It's one option. Makes it very easy to win this... 
turn with houses at least. Well, the two rows are now instantly easier. Yeah. House. House. We're getting there. Over. Over. Oh, you, you got a you got bonus points because you went you over. Got a bonus. With the car wash. Mm. That's gonna become a three if I do that. And that's an instant win. Or I just put it on the negative one, actually. But then you get a negative one next to it. That's not a house, though. No, but I'm saying you just... You, you mean I'm north of it? Yeah. This way? Yeah, but there's two twos on that row, so that row's easy. Shut your dirty mouth. But this row needs greens. Like, desperately. Ew. I'm gonna keep trying to stack Wait, greens. Did... Oh, I was gonna I'm say... Trying, you... I'm trying to stack positive values here. Yeah, I was gonna say you could do the school up in the corner right there, and that would have been fine. Because that gives you the one, which makes it a three. Oh, one of those just gives you a three right there. Yeah. <laughs> so this is winnable tile. This one's winnable with those two. This one's already has two, so that'll be winnable. I'm trying to make every tile. Oh, just put like, that above doable. the negative one. No, or put it on the negative one. Then just make the. Yeah, next. you can put it on the negative one. And make the next tile. This one. Yeah. God damn. God damn. Let's get rid of that row. This game is legitimately fun, and I'm not even playing. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> this is a neat game. This game always, is, it always yeah. looked good, and I'm like, oh, I want to do that. This game is fun to watch. You had it in a good spot. We're just kind of looking around a little bit. It's, uh, placing this one's kind of a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of bad's going to happen to the board wherever I put it. <clears throat> um. Yeah, that kind of cuts you off. It's not a happy time. Well, you have a green. I can put the park square right here, which would make this an instant win. So I can just sabotage this by throwing it away in this weird corner. Wait, what? What are you trying to do? So I'm gonna get a park square first, which I can put here, which would make all um, of these go, and that'll make the one house win this row. Would you want to put that park square though, though? Because wouldn't the wouldn't the park square be better further up? Because it. Well, right now I'm trying it, to make each row winnable. Well, because I mean you have an upcoming car wash. Yeah, I'm just worried about this AOE thing making my whole game harder. So I like the idea of sabotaging it. Well, that's why I meant put it if you. Oh. Whoopsie. Yeah. Did I do it already? <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, that still makes it's winnable it. by one house. Yeah, it'd be nice to just click one house and make it win. But if you do that, uh, not being able to turn them sucks. No, yeah, yeah. I wish you could turn these cards. Well, the red here is gonna go on the park square, which is good. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> God. Yep. Well, both of yep. both those tiles can now be won instantly. Yep. All right. Another supermarket. Give me houses. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Green. So just make the green for that below tile, right? For that row? Yeah. You don't have to put it there, but make it for that row, because that row has no points. Yeah, this row needs to have points pretty badly. Um, You could put it above the other... Or I could put it here to make this this tile winnable right now. And or the supermarket. Yeah. Let's put it up here. Yeah. Because I'm going to put the supermarket here, I think. Which gives us that tile being winnable. Yeah. This is a neat game. You get plus two economy points Four when you points, do that. Three points. Three points. Holy Tetris. Shit. <laughs> Damn, what is that? It's a 20 thing. I think Whoa. it's I, I think it's because I made a combo. I think that's a combo. Su combo successive column completion for bonus points. Yep. Yeah. So if you uh, you get bonus points if you prime the other things first. Oh your basically. hearts are charging. Yeah. Very, very slowly. As you accumulate points, this heart container fills. Once it's full, you gain another life. I like how everything you highlight explains it to it's, you. It's almost like someone knows how to make games. Yeah. <laughs> Hoggle building point counters? Oh. oh. Yeah. Got another house coming up. So you just need one more. So just put that green in the negative one and make it so you can you fill put that. It in the negative one and then point it at something else. Yeah. We need points on this tile. Yeah. The brewery is just a nothing. So that, that can fills just, up a slot. That can just go probably on the negative one. Uh, should you do that? I don't know. Because yeah, I, I am trapping myself. With I was thinking just tiles. put it below the farm. Just below the farm. Yeah. Because you have a you have another park square which you could put where that negative one is. These goddamn negative things. All right. <laughs> just more negatives on the tile. Just wait. Did you put bury the idea? Did you put a house? Yeah. That house looks fucking nice. It does look fucking nice. <laughs> like, it's a nice fucking house. It's a house. really nice fucking house. You got a nice house over there, buddy. Damn. 
Look at Mr. Nice House over there. That's a negative two. That is boot. That yeah, is I'm some, just gonna very carefully not put a house there. Some booty buttholes. <laughs> just make it the shittiest house it can be. And just avoid it carefully. <laughs> what if you put a house there? Is it like a slum? <laughs> like, yeah. More positive there you points go. everywhere. That's good. Got already it. three on that row. Yeah, there's already three on that row. But you can there's, make it. We have greens everywhere right now. Yeah, you don't have enough houses. No, and we, we're not getting any houses to place things on. All right, uh, I can put the two. Yeah, put the green here. I can make this one instantly winnable. So nice. The whole row just wins. Ooh. Ooh. The amount of red that's going to make. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. See, I instantly win this row. Yeah. So I could put it up here. You could. And that would only hit you for one negative space. Yeah. Because those two just kind of works. Yeah. A, another brewery? Put that in the negative space. The empty, or the empty space. Or yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That's house. In the, no. Put it in the bottom row. Wait, you have three houses coming up. Put the supermarket yeah, and I, just I spam, spam, spam. Get that no, heart back. Only three houses, though. Wait, why is the negative heart highlighted? What? The negative heart? Oh, that's because you can throw a row away. Okay, at any time you can throw a row away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. To, you, to lose a heart. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? you didn't fuck up though. Why? Yeah. <laughs> why, girl? Why you betray? Uh, the problem so, is that the combo here sucks. Use a supermarket. I need, well, I mean, no, I mean the, the issue is I need two houses here to score it. Because the two is over here. And this is a one, and if I bump this up to a two, it still takes me two houses to score this this row. Mm. So my combo has to be the, just these two rows, and not the third one that is already primed. So I only get three houses. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and just accept that combo. The game's it's so pretty. It's very it's very nice to look I at. I like looking at this game. It's physically appealing. My eyes. My eyes. Nice. Those can two. Those two can be one. And that next row has a lot of noxatives. Now it has fewer noxatives. <laughs> noxatives. Goodbye, noxatives. <laughs> noxatives. Unacceptable word we've started using. Wait, just bring it down. That's the checkpoint. This is you a win. miserable thing. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. You win at that point, so everything past that point doesn't matter apparently. Brewery, up there. So be, just be a brewery way oh, wait. up there. Oh, dang it. What's up? Oh wait, you can do it, kinda. Just say wait and just get an ultra combo on all three. Yeah, I can try. And then park square? Park square. Yes. And can I make it even higher? Why would... <laughs> He's just jumping. And you can make that higher too. Yep. Or, oh, I was gonna say you can put it down. House. Wow. Points. That's just an ugly points. points. That one's already filled. Points. There's yeah. like a row that's well, already it's filled. It's RNG post game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plus one life. I like this game. Oh, thanks. We unlocked a wholesaler. A wholesaler. Great. Great. It does bad things. It, does. it gives you three yellows, though. Okay. It's three yellow points. Great. You gotta get them experience points. Can we points. use those experience points to, to like, remove that bad card? <laughs> you have a deck. Your deck is butts. I don't so like your... You have 39 cards, 26 are locked, 0 undiscovered. Wait, excuse me, we just unlocked level 20? We are level 1. We're not even level 1 yet. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. We get two cards, though, apparently, when you level up. Cool. Ooh, oh, town cards, city cards, metropolis cards. Whoa, scholarship? Scholarship, mega city cards. Look at that masterpiece. Wait, Landmark go back. Cards, Excuse me, go cards. back to masterpiece. Uh, Soul Grand Angel Opera. Masterpiece. Masterpiece, air quotes. What the fuck? Everything's red and green. It's a negative. It just. What does that mean? It just nullifies itself. It's right -click just in it. air quotes. Can't, can't right click? Oh, I think you only like, right-click them when you're playing or something. Or that's kind of depressing. Yeah. You think that would be also a good time to learn? It's a weird time to not have access to it. But yeah. so far in the future, inverts. Oh, invert the points in this tile. Expense is equal to the point difference. Oh. Oh, you lose. Oh. You lose yellow that to change be, what a tile means. That could be a brutal. Oh my God, there, there could be so much to this game. This game has a lot of depth. Yeah. Too. You want to play around? Uh, sure. I'll, you know what? You can play the grapefruit district. <laughs> BRB switching seats.
wonder if people pick up on the subtle voice difference when we change microphones because the two microphones aren't the same. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Our traditional couch co-op microphones are the same, but yeah. one, 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 one of us is sitting at a computer chair and the other one's sitting at the duplicated display on a, on a, on a television. Uh, we have two different microphones. Yeah, we'll fix it one day. Soon, probably. Donate to Patreon. All right, go play Grapefruit District on this neat-ass game. This is a neat game. I like it a lot, actually. I, I do like it a lot. This, this is, is why we do this. This is why we do Let's Try, is to find weird Did surprises. Caribou City has a new mayor. Some guy called Selfridge. Does he sell fridges? No, nah, he's just really... <laughs> he's just really selfish. What? Can't wait to meet he's him. He's allergic to shellfish. Wow, whoa! Whoa. Fucking sass over here. I love this girl. What's her name? What's your name? Lynn, 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 Eddie? Okay. Chelsea. Welcome to Grapefruit <laughs> District. As you can see, there's not much going on here. Don't hate. You're just low income. So it's a perfect site for redevelopment. You've been doing really well, so I think I'm going to give you a bit more control today. Up until now, you've been using a preset selection of cards. I'm going to change that by teaching you the basics oh, of Oh shit. God damn it. Have course. fun. You always start the game with 12 cards. These are basic entry level cards. And most of the ones you've been using so far fall into this category. Suddenly sheep. <laughs> Suddenly sheep. You can tell a card's level by the colored triangle in the top right. This gray pink color represents a basic level card. Okay. Oh, there is a triangle. Oh. I thought he was pointing at the, the top. Yeah. I'm like, those aren't triangles. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> uh... there is a triangle. Remember, you can always right-click on a card at any time to find more details about it, including its level. Okay. There are some other numbers here, too. Let's start with the one in orange. This number is the card's expenditure cost. When you play this card, the number here gets added to this bar in the top right. When this bar fills up due to accumulating expenditure from your buildings, your column target will increase by one. Gross. So that makes everything harder since then you need to reach that higher target for your future columns. In other words, high expenditure costs are something you want to avoid as it will make your column target increase faster. Mm. But seeing as almost every building has an associated expenditure cost, it's inevitable your target will increase eventually. Cool, thanks for the depressing thought. This, this game could get so hard. It's a bit more positive. Oh, good. I need positivity in my life. This is the card's economy point contribution. In a similar fashion, this number gets added to the yellow bar in the top right. I'll show you what happens when the economy bar fills. Let's play some buildings that are good for our economy. I get the feeling that this the levels get way longer and this game gets way harder. Yeah. Because those meters aren't... The, game, the levels haven't even been long enough for those meters to make sense yet. But I think they will now. Oh my god, look how fast the yellow thing fills up when you place these things. <sighs> Holy crap. Yeah. So it's just out of five. So you're gonna get a bonus card when that happens? You get one every time the yellow bar fills to its maximum. Okay. We can spin this on a new card to add to our deck. What? Look, a new button. Oh, where'd it come from? <laughs> this button opens the card shop, and that's exactly what it sounds like. You'll get a choice of four random cards to add to your deck. Oh. Sweet. This is a... Oh, choose a card, then close the shop with the I've same I've never met... It's actually bothering me. No one's ever mentioned this game before. Yeah, I'm. So, why is this not talking I've about? I've never heard like of this the, game. This is better than Hearthstone. I found it like, myself like two years ago, and it's just not been on a to-do list forever. And I'm now I'm finally like, oh shit, no one's mentioned this I game. Have, it's like it seems awesome. So I have five houses. That's not much. The rotation for which I get houses is pretty. The the houses are how you Tetris. Yeah. <laughs> so. I, I feel like you getting more houses could is get better. More houses, but also but, park squares are incredible. But also shops, because shops give me plus one. Yeah. Parks don't. Parks cost a lot of expenditure. That is the problem. Parks are a ridiculously good thing for increasing the value of territory in general. Yeah. But I think I think they're actually a trick. I think park squares are a trick because they spam positivity everywhere, 
but you don't nece necessarily need that. Yeah, having one positive square that's really highly ranked is how you in instantly te like score a row with just one house. Yeah. Where so that that spams blue everywhere, which sounds appealing while costing Good you five choice. red. That should keep you going for a little while. Okay, thanks. Like, I'm so happy every time I see a park in my inventory, but it's probably bad, actually. <laughs> but it's probably bad. Probably bad. Uh, Because you don't want that number to go to four, and then you have to get four per row and sort of not die. Gross, I don't want a brewery. Also, you got that fun tile over there where the, you, have, you have rows coming up where they've already spent your tiles for you. But it's at, it's at two. Yeah, that one's at two, but there's still two farms that are empty. Okay, where are you going to put your brewery? Probably here. And then I can use the green tile. Uh, Maybe to here. pump up the existing one? Yeah. Uh, so there. Then. Kind of nice how it cycles through like weather and stuff over time. Yeah, I like that. I'm not... Part of me is not super fond of the fact that you can't actually identify what most of these... Well, but like by looking at them, it's kind of hard to tell what any of these tiles were at a glance. But I guess yeah. it doesn't matter when they're already down because the, all that matters is the numbers that you resulted. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, and it looks organic to have the city. I'm gonna scroll slightly to the left so the map's not weirdly off camera. Sorry. There you go. There we go. It just looks. I weird. forget you can do that. I'm yeah. just kind of going with the flow. Um, all right, so we'll do that. Rain effect's kind of nice. Park square. They just have little quirks to add visual diversity from moment to moment. I would not put this park square on the two. <laughs> uh, no. If you put it up one, it would get both twos to threes. Well, no, this is the house. Oh. If you put the park square up there, though, you, both of the twos become threes at the same time. Like here? Yeah, if you wanted to. Yeah, and that gives me... Mixed oh, I could actually, if both. I did this, though, yeah. then that's a three. That also helps. And then this becomes a three instantly. Yep. So I can... But that's not a three yet. It's not a three yet. And you have to figure out that third row too, which is just like not scorable yet. Yeah. Well, if I do, oh, it's a shop. Yeah, I have a lot shop. of houses. You can only use the shop on that one on the fourth square of that row potentially. Yeah. I can use it here. Thankfully, you can use whatever you want in row in column four to help score column three because column four is already scored. <laughs> You're trying to uh, hold off on scoring the first column as long as possible, so you can squ uh, chain it. Yeah. Got a factory coming up. The game's not interested in helping you right now, but you can put you can put that green on the red to help score that one thing you're building up. What? Where? I would put a house under that shop you placed. Here. Because the greens are coming up, and you can increase the value of that sh uh, that house retroactively. Yeah. That's what I was thinking to put in the next. Yeah. Factory! Poopy buttholes! Don't like factory! Oh, factory. Don't want, yeah, you don't want to reduce the cost of the three that you're relying on having already existed. <laughs> oh, I can purchase a card. Hot damn! What are we gonna get? This is a oh, cool theater? game. Theater! It's a 4 -two. Overpriced snacks are available in the lobby. Wow, it's uh, it's only a two red, despite being almost uh, almost as good as a... And it's four well, a yellow. Yep. That's super good. I'll yep. take that. Oh, it's been given to Sebastian SB. Yeah. Me, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I never get anything cool. There you go. Now we have enough to cock a cock a cock a combo break. Almost. There you go. There you go. Four part combo. This is gonna be worth something. I hope so. Still don't have that heart back. <laughs> it said we back? got the life back. Seems to still not be back. What is this? What is this? Just wasted space. What is this? Sewage. What's this? What's oh. this? Oh! I can't believe my eyes. It made all of them worth more, more, one more though, the pipes. Yeah. Interesting. Well now they're worth two! Uh, that'd be problematic. <laughs> be problematic. It's much more interesting to just please. throw the red off the map so please, it doesn't bother you. Please no. <laughs> Andrew, please no. Oh no, Andrew. No, Andrew. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Um... Fiat, huh? This is so chill. This is a chill-ass game. Buy another card. Another Fiata. That's where you're not bothered by the microphone height at the computer. You're fucking shorter than me. <laughs> it's like a mouth I'm level not. for I'm, you. I'm taller than you. <laughs> you are definitely not. <laughs> Fiata? I don't know. I might you get want a wholesaler. It's good for yellow and bad for everything else. <laughs> yeah, but 
The green's also really nice, because I only greens, have one green. Greens are nice, but theaters are just such blue spam. Yeah, but greens can really make or break a one tile. One tile, yeah. Yeah. The, the greens have the power the theaters don't, which is that they can do an adjacent yeah. same column. They can do bonus. it in any tile. Yeah, they can so do it. They, they have versatility because yeah. they can do the same column. And we only have one of them. Yeah. So maybe could, having. I would totally go for theater, but you can do what you want. I don't know. I'm having pretty, two I'm, feeders seems like I'm just going to end up my cost faster. So it's only two, though. True. Whereas it's giving you a lot of blue, where it's like green's already giving you one red yeah. for only one positive. That's, that's true. That's true. Uh, yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta definitely gotta build up the first row because <laughs> it doesn't have any bonuses on it yet. Yeah. It's Get tough. yourself into a bit of a trap. What is this? Like, what was the tile it's that was there? A house. Okay. No, it's not. If it was a house, it'd have a number on it, probably. So I want to do. I this. think you can right-click on it to find out what it is, right? Maybe. No. Oh, no only when it's on your left oh, side. No. Yeah. Yes. All right, so do that. I wonder if a house with no points is called zero, so you can still tell it's a house. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. That looks like... Oh, no, that's not, because remember, I built that on purpose. That's the... Uh, that's a brewery. That's a, not the brewery. It's the other one. Um, is that a brewery? No, it's the brewery. Bre this is a brewery. This is the one that's uh, red on the bottom and blue on the top. That's not a factory? Maybe it's a factory. I mean, no, the bottom one's not a factory? This isn't a factory, no. Oh. This is a brewery. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. 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 You can use that green to, to cap that off when you're ready. Yeah. I want to hold it in your back pocket. Yeah, so I can place a home somewhere else. Like, oh, here. Like, oh, here. And I got another Fiata. Oh, damn. Ooh, you gotta be careful. Oh, I gotta do that because this row has no pluses yet. Yeah. Whereas the other one's almost ready to score. Yeah. This is a. This isn't familiar to me. Like, I feel like I don't, I don't, I don't know of a game before. that has this puzzle design in it necessarily. Yeah. It's a cool idea. I've never heard of this mechanic. Okay. So I can. I can. Yaw. And. Yaw. And Did you put the house on the one instead of the two? Huh? Oh, shit. I, that. <laughs> I, I, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I thought it was going to be There's instantly. a clear bonus there. I thought it was going to instantly go. Now. Ooh. Yeah, Look the, the night cars. Time. Yeah, the nighttime is pretty cool. Those shops. So I can put a shop somewhere. Like... The game, sort of, the game just sort of takes turns looking better every now and then. It's like, well, now it looks like this, and it's also pretty. <laughs> it's also Enjoy your puzzles. <laughs> Fine, I will. <laughs> I love them. I'll do... I love them, they're great. <laughs> if you put that there and then the park square yeah. in the corner of the water, then that would be a three and a two. Well, I, I was thinking of putting the park square right here. Just in the middle of it? Yeah, because then it gets all of these around yeah. here. Plus but, if this you, but unless you're going to put houses on all those spots, it won't really matter that you're spamming numbers everywhere. But why would it matter if I put it here? It doesn't really matter. I don't know. Just just plan your your three tiles so you can score them with one house. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. You also need to use eventually use the green down there. But are you trying to fill the entire screen up yeah. before you place that one green? I want to see if I could do it. That's going to be hard, too, because you're using up one of your two build tiles. I, I also it's, don't think I get filled. my houses back until... Yeah, we'll see. Oh, until you use all the cards, you think? Maybe. Nope, there's some houses. Yeah, I think it. I think just when you finish drawing, you run it, then you you put them all in. Yeah. All of your cards went to the discard pile, and then they went back into the draw okay. pile. Okay. I, I think left is draw and right is discard. I need to get rid of that because I can't work on this up here. <laughs> you can plan ahead. Triple. Oh god. Yeah, okay. slow. Yeah, wait for it to play out before you get yourself in trouble. 152, 192 greens. Nice. Oh, I can buy a card. I forgot to buy a card. So the green number is restaurant. the score that determines huh. your star rating, right? So okay, so we put a restaurant in. That was what that was down there. It was okay. a restaurant, which is the three on the bottom and blue on the top. The opposite but I can of a supermarket su for yeah. some reason. <laughs> so a sh huh. Red on the top is always bad. 
it's pretty miserable. Right? right in the bottom can be kind of nice because it's yeah. often often you've already scored it. You can put it at the bottom yeah. of the map, which is nice. You can. Wholesaler is also not bad. What for the three green? The uh, three yellow? Yeah. But think about how the fact that you you don't really get an option. You have to play it every time it comes up. That's true. So you're like scattering red everywhere. So I, I'm trying so to. You, just... got, you got to be ready for it. So if shops. You're gonna go that way. Shops or restaurant. How many shops do I have? I have two shops. I only have one restaurant. I'll get another restaurant. Just fall safe. Come on. This is awful. Why? If you put the shop on the top of the second column, you can make the beginning of the first column three. I was going to put it here. And then just get rid of as many square tiles as possible. No, I, I said shop. Oh. Put it where? Here? You, you can make the first, the, t the far oh, left this? tile three. And then the first two rows are ready for houses. True. True that. Ooh. There's a lot of red floating ahead of you. There's a lot of red. Well, the red, I... Well, this is the end. Right yeah. here, so I don't have to ah, worry about these. Mostly doesn't matter. Yeah, but I do need to start putting some tiles but here. You gotta be careful. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this to get myself some tiles here, and then, pata, and then, pata. Don't do a misclick. Goodbye, water. Boom. Two hundred and thirty. Mm. Do you know what the three star rating was? This is a tough one. What? Do you know what the three-star rating requirement was? Did you read it? The three-star? No. I didn't read it. I didn't read it. It's Sorry. like 600 points. Fuck you. Oh, no. Oh, uh, you're in danger zone. I'm in the danger zone. You're about to hit four. Can you? Are you bad enough dude to hit four per row? Uh, no. It's probably going to happen. No, it's... No, it's pretty I, hard to avoid I, at this I point. I can't. I literally cannot. Even I can't houses, even get this. To... Even the houses cost you a one. Yeah. I could do this, which would help me. Oh, wow. You have nothing that's going to help you score the first row yeah. at all. But this brewery is going to fuck me up. Yep. Uh, and I have another restaurant coming up, which is not helpful at all either. No, it's really not. I'm kind of screwed. Um, you can do it. Just got to play it smart. I can buy a card. Just got to really nail it. The park square. Oof. Uh, a lot of green for a lot of cost. Yeah. But that... A, ca a garage? Okay. A garage. A garage? <laughs> a theater? Yeah. Should I get another theater? Where was my first theater? Not in my deck list. <laughs> Hello? Theater? Where'd you go? Where is your theater? Where's my theater? Did you have a theater? You did, right? I think it gets used? Or is this my current deck and it's in my discard pile? Um... Now you have a theater. Is this a one-time use card? I don't know. Oh, are they? Is that what blue means? Because pink is a oh. basic card, green is like something else, but then maybe blue is a one-time use. What if buying a card is only for that round and it's not in your real deck? B -b 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 brutal. What? Uh, that would be brutal. <laughs> That's... My heart. My soul. Interesting. You know what's interesting well, is how straight fuck ahead of you is the shitty part of town. Look at that. <laughs> There's a brewery enjoy. I'm just gonna delete that three because it's an eyesore. Uh, this is butts my guts. You're not in a good spot. You're, you're about. To, you're. You have to accept the fact that it's gonna be fours. It's gonna be four. You can't undo the fours. You have a theater coming up. I do. Which can kind of help. Kind of. <laughs> If you put the theater down, you might be able to score that row, but then the next row is going to have some problems, too. Yeah, that works. This row's got so many probs. So many probs. So many probs. Which can be fixed with a theater. A theater? <laughs> but it can't. <laughs> I, would, I would not put it on that. Yeah. Because you're deleting a one uh, you yeah, might need. Yeah, no, I know, but it's just the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're fine. You're actually on your way to winning right now. You're fine. Yeah, but I would rather have the school there because it ups this one, the theater. But, but, uh, but how actually would you... no, because I could put the school here and it would increase one of the houses and increase this tile to two. Uh, which it would... Oh, but it has to it, be four. It has to be four, and the Fuck. school would make it impossible to hit four. You pretty much have to play the theater at this point, I think. Oh no! Oh no! Give in! Oh no! Bing! That's that's not good. Got one more hard tile to figure out now. And it's not looking good. 
You're looking pretty trapped. You're looking like you're in a bad space, Andrew. Are you in a bad space? I am in a bad, a bad you're looking, spot. Looking kind of, I looking kind of impossible, I Andrew. Might be theoretically <laughs> fucked. Looking kind of, kind of impossible right now. I don't think I can. I don't think you can place anything in either of those tiles. Your best hope is to find out how to get both of them to four. I can do this. If you put this the shop already. there, that'll make it a uh, uh, blue. So I'm wondering if the school's better located somewhere. Not really. There's no other place to put this school that would make it. Not necessarily. Efficient. You have like, to okay. hope that you, you have to hope that you draw something that lets that lets you place something like by the four in order to make the thing under a, a two. Like that spot at the head of column two, you have to you have to draw something that lets that turn the the, the tile below it into a, one, a two. Like go up with your mouse a little bit. Go up? Or no, by like by the glowing four. Uh oh. Like, oh, the, yeah. where the glowing, like you have to place something there that makes the tile under it turn into a two instead yeah. of a one. Which well, is a park. Yeah, but you need to draw to it, which means you need to place stuff at the top of the part of the map to sort of buy time until yeah. then. But I don't want to waste the school because the school is kind of. No, useful. you can place the school to make the other one go up in value. This. Wait, how did that end up as a? That's been like that. Oh, you're screwed. I could just do. It's this. a one and a blank. I thought it was a one and a one. No. How are you ever gonna? Yeah, you could hype up the scores of those guys, I guess. Yeah. How in the so world? So I could do a green, and I can make that bump. You cannot do a green. I cannot do a green though. That is not work. I can, actually I could put a green right here and bump this up, so you I can have two need, houses. I feel like you need something better that's going to make uh, both tiles go up by one. You need to spam AOE on both of them in order to make this, this work. The supermarket. Something like that. Yeah. You need anything that makes green a, uh, a bunch of blue below you. Because the supermarket would give me two, and I could put it right here, and that would give me two right here. Yeah, if you put a supermarket on that one spot, then a similar tile on the other spot of, of the second column, then those two combined can make column one worth four points. Fancy. But if you do anything that's single tile, then you lose. Anything that's just anything that's just upgrading one of them will not get you enough points. And none of these will help me. No, you have to just sort of place them in the nether space ahead of you and hope that they can buy time to draw the better cards. Which is valid. It's a valid strategy. Yeah, it's a valid strategy. You, your uh, cost doesn't go up to five until you hit 72, which is not going to happen. Yeah, I can just spam my way to victory. It's not oh, a happy watch time, out! You can't work. put a house there. Oh yeah, I mean. it's warning you that you won't have a house spot. That's yeah. an interesting warning. Um, boy, oh boy, are you in trouble? I am. Serious trouble. As as in serious trouble. And you already drew one of your houses. Well, you can place the house. You already know where it's going to go. Yeah. You don't need to save the house. That lets you draw more cards, at the very least. Well, I got the supermarket, but fucking brewery. I need another, I need another house. At this point, you can't use the shop to get points. You just kind of just have to throw it away towards the top of the screen just to keep it out so you can draw more. Yeah. Increase that farmland. Oh, yeah. Better farm. I right guess. here. <laughs> Jesus. Let's just give up, apparently. Sure. Make these the negatives. Supermarket. Supermarket. Here we go. I just need to. Jesus. No, that's not enough. Your victory it? wrote. It will be enough when you draw something for the other spot. You, but I don't oh, know if, if I get like a park, you're saying? You, you need a. So you're putting this here. You need a supermarket or a park to put in the other slot of this row. Also, oh, you're right. That's the only way to get to four. You need Plus an, one person. You need an awkward AOE. So until then, a yeah, go, go for the theater. <laughs> if, theater. if you draw it, you're good. But until then, you gotta yeah, you gotta you gotta place a house in the first row. But aside from that, you just gotta throw away your garbage cars until you can draw something better, and hope that you don't run out of tiles before it's too late. Because <laughs> you are you really are down to the wire. Uh, and don't go too fast in case you like randomly misclick or something, and because this will ruin you. <gasps> oh, that bought you that bought you. Wait, what? Another Why did it work for three? Complete. Did we miss something? Was there a one in there somewhere that we missed? Lava. We'll have to check the footage later. Oh no! I don't know what you did. It worked. Uh, apparently, you're a '90s band though. Three one. I did it. Plus one life. I don't want to waste my time. I got a groove. It Changed. link if an adjacent tile points are zero or lower set to one. Ooh. For no cost. Ooh. That's awesome. For a grove. A groove. That's neat. A group. All right. Well, this is this is concrete jungle. 
That's a neat ass so game. Do I get to keep those cards? Or? This is a neat ass game. Oh, so that's the card I unlocked for getting to level Jeez, two. Jeez, reach level twenty to get to that bottom. Good I mean, luck. Oh, they are scattered all over the place, though. Yeah. I, thought that, I thought that was that. I thought they were going to be in that order. So that, on the second row, you already have to be level twenty to unlock it. I'm like, what is the last one? Level five hundred? <laughs> no, it's just seven. really. It's just out of order. What, what is this? Though? They're, they're sort oh. of by different what things. Oh, these are like unlocked by playing Look at character that. number five. During a campaign, look what at the, the spire. Selfridge this? spire. Everything's a three green, but it costs you ten red. Jesus, Holy shit! You could spend a lot of time on this game. You could spend so much time. Oh my goodness! Tell me all the best deck. Check out Concrete Jungle. Yeah. Fucking. Why does anybody talk about this? Everyone game? should be talking about this, this game. This game's, game's neat. This game's a neato burrito. And it's pretty and it's neat. And these are all the people who made it because they're neato oh burritos. Oh my god, that's unreadable. That's why no one's talking about them. They can't well, read. These them. are all backers. <laughs> Whoa. 1,550. 1,540 beautiful backers. Oh my god. Maybe those people were talking about it this whole time. Yeah, on the back of Jesus. Site. You can just hit right a lot and it just keeps going more random names. Oh, it's only. Wow, that's gonna take a long time to scroll through. That it's is just... so smart. Thank you. It's so nice that it's not like this part. Well, I, I figured that once you go to page two, that it would be like the entire page was backers. Nah, forget that. Keep these people. These are the people that did all the hard work. <laughs> Twin cast eternally tormented mangy woos. <laughs> Sometimes these, Kickstarter sites are not the best places. These are weird. In any case, um, the Kickstarter people are bigger than the actual people that made the game in the credits. <laughs> like they funded names, it. I mean, their names are font yeah. larger font. I mean, they funded it. So see you guys next time. Goodbye. Buy it on Steam.